Hey guys, in this video we are going to talk about a React bug you may come across. This is a beginner level React error, so most of you may know this already, but I made a whole course on solving beginner level React challenges, and it's called React Beginner Challenges. So this is a video from that course, and it is linked in the description if you want to check it out. Anyway, here it goes. All right, so for challenge three, it's very similar to challenge two in that the app is just crashing and we have to fix the bug. Now, once again, this is made easy by the fact that we get that error right here, and we could just read this error to understand what's going on. And as you could see here, the error is pretty descriptive. So it's telling us that the objects are not valid as React childs, or React children. And it's it's given, it says it's found this object with these with this keys. If you meant to render a collection of children, use an array instead. So I wouldn't say this ob this really tells you what is going wrong in our app. It looks like what we're trying to do is render this name of this person in our app, and we're failing at doing that. So the error is is not really telling us how to fix that, right? It's just kind of telling us what's wrong. So as you could see, what you know, what we could do is we could read this error. We could see, you know, we could we could read it. We could try and understand it ourselves. But first, let's just make sure that it's actually happening in our app, right? So trace that stack trace down, and we see it's happening at app.js line six. So, and you can see here, it's also app is being rendered from this file here. So you can you can understand that this is happening in our app. So it's happening in app.js. This is app.js, right? So you can see here app.js. So this is our this is our code, and it is happening on line six. So that's how you would find this exact line that's causing that issue. Now, to dive in deeper, this is definitely a React error. So if I go into the console, as you could see, we are getting the error coming from, so tracing it down. Well, so the error is being caused by this, by our app, but it's being raised in from this app. So it's, it's actually throwing that error from React DOM. So you can make that assumption. If you've never seen React before, you've never used React apps before, you'd be able to understand as an advanced user that this is coming from React DOM. So this is how, see so you're an expert in web development, you still could figure this out just by understanding that, okay, this is, I'm tracing this into the React DOM library. Now you could do, you could, uh, so so to debug this further, you could, you could search for this, throw on an, invalid object type, but what's going to really help you, it's going to be more obvious is if you just Google the this exact error, right? So if I Google objects are not valid as React ch child. Okay, so I've Googled that error message and I see here this first snippet, seeing an objects are not valid as React child might mean that a few different things are going on. It could be because the items being rendered in the JSX element are objects instead of primitives. So we're understanding that it's an object and not a primitive. So if you're not familiar with a primitive, you could also Google that. But basically, you probably know the solution at this point. Primitive, it should be either a string or a number, right, instead of an object. So using this, we were able to Google this error and figure out that, that you shouldn't be passing objects in your JSX. So at this point, you should know what JSX is. If you don't, you should definitely look that up. But basically, the key thing here is that we know what we know what the issue is now. We shouldn't be passing in objects in here, and so we have to look for where is the primitive object, which is, or where is the primitive variable here, and that's name dot text. So if I open up that code sandbox here, I can just better see this issue. So if I go here and I just say I could destructure this instead, so I could say I could destructure text off of that object and put that here, and then that way we can fix the issue. So another thing I could have done was, if I roll this back, I could have said name.text to get that string. So there we go. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Once again, check out the link in the description for the full course. And if you would also like to like and subscribe to the channel, that would be awesome. So hope to see you next time. Thanks guys.